Previously on King's Cast. Free agents possibly on the radar. Go. Illy Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk signs tomorrow. Oh, I'm definitely getting the King's Kovalchuk jersey. Reports on Twitter say that he's very close. Kovalchuk? Dean Lombardi has said that they pulled out. Go to hell, Kovalchuk. Where's Kovalchuk? Whatever. Ilya Kovalchuk uh, does not look like he's going to sign with the Los Angeles Kings. Kovalchuk to the Kings? There's no way that was going to happen. I was reading Puck Daddy all week. Finally, it is official. Ilya Kovalchuk has signed with the New Jersey Devils. Yep, it's all over. I have uh, committed the rest of my career 17 years. My number to this team. In a surprise move, Devil star Ilya Kovalchuk announced his retirement from the NHL. The reason, as I said, is more money. They think he's going to get paid $20 million a year by going back to Russia. <laughs> And looky here, according to Slava Malamud, Kovalchuk was on Russian TV today saying he is definitely back in the NHL next season. Wants the Stanley Cup. Dude. Dude, the king signed Kovalchuk. Ilya? Yes. The Russian? Da. How long? Three years. How much? 6.25 million per. Oh, good Christ. You know what this means. We gotta finish the trilogy. We have to shoot the trilogy. All right, let's do it. Summer 2018, a kingdom on the brink, with the days of luminous glory quickly fading like a whisper in time, a formidable people search the world and the past for a savior. All right! <laughs> We're back! <laughs> okay, free agents or trade targets this year. Go. Jonathan Tavares. Max Patches. Jeff Skinner. James Van Riemsdyk. James Neal. Rick Nash. Joe Thornton. Ilya Kovalchuk. <laughs> Day 2920, and oh my god, King's Cast is back. Uh, we're back. We have dusted off the mics. We've uh, got the camera working after a couple hours of messing with it. Uh, we are here. Uh, and I can't believe it. That's right. We're older. A little slower. And speaking of older and slower, Ilya Kovalchuk wants to play in the NHL again. Hmm. I thought he played in Russia. The 17-year contract guy? I thought that guy was dead! <laughs> okay, day 2921, and something crazy just happened. Royce is right there to touch it to him. Kroltz will now fire up for him and scores! Okay, things that did not exist eight years ago. Uh, Snapchat and Instagram didn't exist. I barely had one kid. Alex Faust was still in high school. Adrian Kempe's balls hadn't even dropped. The Kings hadn't won a playoff series since 2002. LA still wore that weird purple logo thing. Wayne Simmons was still on the frickin' team. Daryl Sutter was still milking cows on the farm. Temperatures continuing to stay very warm over the next couple of days. Slight dip, but overall 70s, 80s, 90s, and triple digits for the high desert. We are back. It is day 2924 uh, of the saga. Eight years later, uh, and interested teams are starting to come out uh, for Ilya Kovalchuk. I'm uh, hearing the Bruins, hearing about the Sharks, the Knights, the Los Angeles Kings are a possibility. <sighs> that would be amazing. You know who you're not hearing about, though? New Jersey Devils. Yeah, I don't think he's not going there. This is very interesting. <laughs> now get that repentant Slava Voinov back, and you've got yourself a Russian attack. Kopitar led all forwards in total ice time this season. He was third in the league in total faceoffs with 1,816 and faceoff wins 983. Career highs for him in each category. Uh, so Keith, I, I came across something today from Russia that uh, really requires your attention. Okay, check Let's this see. out. Okay, reasons why Kovalchuk wants to come to the Kings this time around. Because we won two cups without him. Because we beat him in six games in 2012. Because we're the only team crazy enough to offer him a three-year deal. 
Because he's kind of like the Kevin Durant of the NHL. Because St. Petersburg sucks in the winter. Because $6.25 million at his age is quite nice. Because winning a gold medal against a bunch of kids is cool and all, but because the Atlanta Thrashers no longer exist. Okay, day 2,928, the NHL entry draft is over. That Rasmus Kupari guy the Kings drafted, he's going to be good in 2025. Okay. Yep. But something crazy and magical just happened. Los Angeles Kings agreed to terms with Ilya Kovalchuk. What? They paid Kovalchuk how much? 6.2 mil for a 36-year-old? Now that's, I'm sorry, man. That's just, that's just, I have to say it, effing stupid. Yeah, Rob Blake going all in. Yeah. With Kovalchuk, Fanuf, and Brown, the 2010 Stanley Cup is ours. I am very pleased with this acquisition. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, it's it's hard to believe. Sure, it's not the, the sexy pickup it would have been eight years ago, but uh, I'll absolutely take it. I definitely see him as an upgrade over Ayafalo. I think he'll score more than nine goals. Uh, sorry, bro. Uh, but this is kind of exciting and weird at the same time. Yeah! He has arrived. In a determined stratagem of eminence and purposeful uncertainty, our hero's illuminative presence gives an accord and ebullience to an enterprising populace no longer waiting for Kovalchuk. <laughs> 